Hello everyone, and welcome back to our short series on magnesium oxide. Magnesium oxide is an ionic solid that is formed from one magnesium and one oxygen per formula unit. In our first video, we've created some magnesium oxide, starting with some magnesium metal and a crucible and some fire. In our second episode, uh, I reviewed how to use the data from that lab to determine what the experimental or the empirical formula is for magnesium oxide. The correct value for the formula of magnesium oxide is MgO. There's one magnesium and one oxygen. Magnesium oxide, like most oxides, is only sparingly soluble. I put a bunch of magnesium oxide in this beaker with a bunch of water and a little bit of universal indicator, and that's what's giving it the purple color. The magnesium oxide is mostly sitting down here, you can kind of see that, unable to dissolve. But the water is constantly dissolving a small fraction of the magnesium oxide ions and letting them float around in the solution. They actually set up a kind of equilibrium where there's continually magnesium and oxygen dissolving, but also undissolving in other areas. So there's an equilibrium and we get this situation where the concentration of magnesium and oxygen in the water layer is generally constant over time. The oxide ions, when they get into the water level, tend to react with a water molecule and make a couple of hydroxide ions. And hydroxide ions tend to make the solution basic. And by that, I mean not acidic. And we actually have a pH here of 10 or above based on the universal indicator's color, which is now purple. So I'm gonna set up the stir bar to get going and you'll see it start to disturb the solid that's at the bottom of the beaker. Let's all enjoy that for a second. And as it's stirring, you'll see that some of the chunks are getting pulled up into the, the vortex in the little water layer there. I'm actually going to take some concentrated hydrochloric acid. That's this stuff. It looks like water, but it is definitely not. This is like 12 molar hydrochloric acid. I mean, you really want to be careful with this stuff. You probably want to compliment it, say a couple of nice things because you really don't want to make it angry at you. Um, but here I have it. And I'm going to go ahead and take a little squirt of that and drop it in. Ooh. So it started out by turning it that nice pink color, kind of like a pink sherbet color. And then now we're moving into more of a yellow color. And now we've got more of a green color going on. And it's starting to shade toward blue even. And now we're back to a blue color. And I would say in a minute or two, we're probably gonna be at our pur original purple color. All right, so what's happening here? Well, two things. Number one, by adding the acid, to a solution that is basic, containing a lot of hydroxide ions, I'm neutralizing a bunch of hydroxide ions and adding a whole bunch of protons, the hydrogen ions that make things acidic. And so the pH swings wildly down to a lower pH and the universal indicator gives us um, a pink color. But once that original reaction is done, the equilibrium that was set up between the magnesium oxide and the water wants to reestablish itself. And so I just took out a bunch of hydroxide ions from the solution. The magnesium oxide now will move toward replenishing that and getting back to equilibrium. And so more magnesium oxide will dissolve and we will get more hydroxide ions happening and the pH becomes more basic. So we're almost back to our purple color. Let's have some fun and try it again. A little hydrochloric acid in there and Yes, definite color change. We had the pink, now we're back to yellow already. Trending toward green. Universal indicator is a mixture of indicators that actually has a fairly definite different color at um, different pHs. Now it's not super exact, but you can get an idea. Like they usually come with one of these. And right now I'm at kind of a bluish green, which is a pH of nine. And so it gives you a good estimate. Seriously, hours of enjoyment. This may or may not be what I do on a regular basis when my students leave and I need to just do something happy to get me through this difficult time. So there you have it. Magnesium oxide, solubility equilibrium, and acid-base reactions. 
what a better way to spend an afternoon, right? See ya.